Let's try one of them. Is that all right? No, no. Oh. no. There is a different way of looking at the world. There's a different way of acting in this world. He was his own comedy universe. No one's ever seen him with his head off. That was the big thing. <laughs> Clearly, this was a man on a mission of rank insanity. <laughs> when I met him, he came to work in the factory. This guy walks in. I just realised then and then I am so in love with this person. Great fun growing up at the time of our lives. I can remember us going to a fancy dress party and he made a paper mache head and it was Frank. Do you think the world is ready for you? Um, oh, blimey, I nearly fell off then. What Chris wanted to do was create something that entertained people and blow their minds. What, you're going to make a computer game? So I'm going to enter the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Frank was supposed to be a minor character who just took over. He was on all the Saturday morning kids shows. Come on, have a go. I'll get your face right in there. That's it. He was showbiz royalty. <laughs> Being Frank. It was a fraction of his talent. The dummy can't survive without you. You can't survive without the dummy. So you grow to hate it. It was schizophrenia, almost, that was involved. <laughs> He just went off the rails. He could take an awful lot of abuse. He wanted to be recognised for everything else he'd done. I think Chris should be remembered for being too wonderfully strange to ever make it in the mainstream. What's been the highlight of your show business career? Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. That would have been if I'd met him.